Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the first video. I'm going to try this out. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing this. Uh, this is going to be the first video of hopefully a bunch of videos coming up for us to do reviews of basic different types of mods and everything that we have and that we're getting and I'm trying out and hopefully this will be more informational for you guys. Uh, first couple things I want to say is my name's Draven. Um, everyone know on Facebook who's part of the group who sees me, Draven Peliquin Sadiablo. Um, I'm going to try to keep that going and try to keep this, like I said, moving along for us. First thing I want to go over today is the Magneto with the RSST. It is a rebuildable atomizer. Uh, right now I have a stainless steel wick in here with flat wire canthal, uh, one millimeter. With this, it holds about two and a half, give or take, uh, milliliters of fluid. It's not bad. It actually works out really nice. Um, right now it's on a one ohm. You can actually adjust it depending on how many wraps you put on it. Each wrap you put on changes your ohmage. So you have to remember this. So when you're vaping, always check your ohmage. Unless you're using a mechanical, then it really doesn't matter as much because with the mechanicals, you can go sub ohm, which is usually what I vape on. Um, right now inside this is Boba's Bounty, um, delicious flavor, kind of chocolatey, kind of nutty, a little bit of a graham cracker taste. I love it though. Uh, it's 100% VG. Uh, it's an Alien Vision, Visions brand. Um, I picked this up at Steel City Vapors. Right now, like I said, it's a one ohm. Um, have a battery I've been vaping on pretty much all day, but it's still working out pretty good. Let's go ahead and show you how good the vape is. It's probably going to block out the screen, but it's okay. Great vapor production. The flavor is unbelievable. I love the flavor off the, on this rebuildable. Um, very simple, very good rebuildable. The plastic on it is fully all the way down to the bottom. So it's basically a cup. So when you put your stainless steel mesh in or your wire stainless steel wire in, it will actually, you can take it all the way down to the bottom and you don't have to worry about a short. With this also though, like I said, I have the Magneto on here right now. And on it, I have the Ego Well. I'll give you a look there. The Ego Well works out pretty nicely. Uh, you can put your standard clear misers on here. Any type of Ego Cone will work on here. A lot of them, the... Um, the Kanger cones, the Kanger tanks. A lot of Kanger tanks will fit on here. Actually, they all pretty much do. Works out great. Like I said, it's a straight mechanical. Has a magnetic button, so there's no springs. With that means you have two rare earth magnets inside. With both of these, as you can see when it's down like this, and when I just get it close there, you can see it raise up. Do that again. Whoop. See how it raises up and down, and that's not even touching all the way. So it goes on, screws on nice and smooth. If I can do that now, it's a nice, nice smooth action on there. Uh, it is telescopic. You can put an 18650 in here, a 14 or 18500, and you can put an 18650 in here. If you have a kick though, which is a variable wattage. Uh, chip that you actually put in mechanicals to make them a variable wattage device. You can only use the 18500 or an 18350. Uh, it will not fit with an 18650. Um, like I said on the with the Boba's Bounty in this, and the Boba's Bounty is 100% VG, so it's a lot thicker than most fluids. Most fluids are a 50-50 or 70-30 mix of PG to VG. Um, the VG in it is, I think, is a lot better tasting. You get better clouds, and you also get a better flavor, per se. You don't get the throat hit as much, though. So let's take another hit of this, and we'll move on to the next one. Something else I want to let you guys know, it does come with a stainless steel Ming tip. Um, this does not come pre-built. You have to build it. Um, if you do get one and you're having some problems with it and you're wondering why you're not getting any juice or anything and it's not, and it's getting some dry hits, there comes a plastic, a silicone plug in there. Pop that out, put it somewhere safe so you can actually somewhat keep it on its side occasionally. This is your juice hole. With the juice hole, if you take that out, you won't get what they call vapor lock. 
Vapor lock is when you won't get any fluid coming up because you have too much of a vacuum. Excuse me. Um, the other thing is, I forgot to also mention about this. I'm moving on. Don't worry, folks. Um, the hole where your wick goes is insulated with another rubber washer with another stainless steel ring inside that. So you don't have to worry about shorting out. A lot of rebuildables, when you're using them, you have to wrap the stainless steel so that it doesn't touch the rest of the top cap because that pretty much is where your ground is. Um, by doing so, you will short it out and possibly damage your battery or your mod. So you want to be careful with that. So And there's no screwing it on. It just one O-ring, keep your air hole over your wick. By doing that, it keeps a good airflow and you get more vapor production. So, that's with the Magneto. Great device. Love the device. Also picked it up at Steel City. Um, all the products I'm showing you right now, I've purchased. Nothing was given to me. Um, I love the products I have right now. Um, I have a couple other, uh, another one I'm going to show you here. Um, not too much on the device, but I can go into the device because some people have asked me about it. Um, the new one I'm talking about now is going to be the Rocket. The Rocket is a K-Fung clone. Um, it's got an adjustable airflow. It can also be turned into a dripper. Uh, for those who don't know what dripping is, dripping is when you drip directly onto your coils or atomizer. Three or four drops, depending on how big your wick is, and then you take a hit. Um, Usually you get more of a flavor hit off of it. With this one, you get the same thing with it being in a tank, though. Um, right now, unfortunately, I have it already pre-built and filled up because I've been using it all day before I did this review. Um, it has the adjustable airflow. The adjustable airflow is right there. This is your air, your air intake. This here is adjust your airflow into the tank itself. It has a Allen wrench screw in there. You would take that, you tighten it for as much of a draw you want or loosen up for a more airy draw. On the other side, there's another spot here. This is where it says where you can drip directly into it without taking the top off. I'm a little skeptical about that because it's such a small hole and it seems like I would get fluid everywhere and I love my fluid. So... With this one, it comes apart in multiple places. It comes off here off the base, which will then take off the whole top section. The plastic, it is a plastic though, not a glass. It is plastic. So you got to be careful of your tank killers, which are your cinnamons, your bananas, your citrus, your cherries. They will crack your tank if it's plastic or polycarbonate. Um, this polycarbonate tank does unscrew from the rest of it, so you can take it apart and clean it. Um, I have put them through dishwashers. They are dishwasher safe. Make sure that you keep them in something that's not going to make them knock around all the time. Um, it has a secondary seal inside, which seals on top of the main uh, chimney for where your wicking is. Um, it's really good. It's nice. It's simple to do. Um, I personally would suggest taking it and taking it apart immediately. Take the chimney off. Take out the wick that it comes with. It comes with a 1.8 ohm. Uh, wick right now. I don't like the coil. I last night went and rewrapped it with a micro coil using 30 gauge canthal. I got 1.8 ohm out of it and I use cotton balls. Cotton balls are a great wick system. I love them. They're great. They also taste really good and you get a really good flavor out of it. Um, screw the chimney back on and vape away. The problem is though the drip tip. The drip tip is only the strip tip for this mod. The reason why is the drip tip screws into it and completes the full seal. Um, with that saying, right now, let me double check my ohms. We're at 1.8 ohms. If you can see, no, it's going to be backwards. Sorry about that, folks. Um, and I'm vaping on 12 watts. This is my Tesla. This is what I usually use when I have something above, above 1.2 ohms. So um, let me take a hit and show you the vapor. Great vapor production. Flavor is unbelievable. I've run three different flavors through this tank without changing the wicks, and it is still a phenomenal hit. Uh, first thing I ran through was a Boba, Boba's Bounty clone. Uh, that clone was a 50-50 mix at 12 milligrams. 
Got that from Catscale Vapors. Um, if you like banana, this is it. If you like Boba's Bounty, this is not it. But it works, and it takes the place if you're a Boba's Bounty fanatic like I am. Second thing I ran through here was GTFO from Mr. E-Liquid. Uh, the flavor I picked up also at Steel City Vapors. Um, I do a lot of shopping there. I hang out with them guys. Kate, Mark, Olga, you guys are great. Thank you. Love you both. All three of you, I mean. Sorry. Just got off work. Um, great people. Great shop. Um, I'm going to be doing other reviews from other shops of other fluids that I'm going to try and try to keep you guys updated on everything. Um, there's a couple drawbacks to this that I do not like. Uh, one of them is I did have a little bit of a leakage to thing today from just using it and moving it around too much. It started leaking out of the air hole. It was kind of odd. Um, it's supposed to be a sealed system, but it's not per se. I don't understand, but I'll figure that wired out and I'll get back to you on that one. Uh, the other thing is, is when you take a hit off of it, you hear a whistle. I haven't figured out how to got through how to get rid of that yet. Um, I don't want to take the air screw out all the way because by doing that, it's too much of an airy draw for me. I like the slightly tighter draw to each their own. Um, the K Fung uh, clone picked up at Steel Vapors was about it was twenty four ninety nine plus tax. Um, good deal. It's a good price. Good. Good quality mod. I love it. I love the tank. I love the rebuildable. Nothing bad to say. I have no problem buying clones. Yeah, it'd be nice to be able to drop $185 on a original K-Fung. I don't have that money. I don't know too many people who have that money to do that. As far as I know, poor vapor society, vaping on a budget, folks. Um, let's take another hit off that because it's actually really good. Right now I have a hazelnut in here which is um, kind of tasty, kind of tasty. Um, I don't even know where I got it from. I think I got it from some little tobacco shop. Um, I let it sit for about a month now, and uh, it's got a really good taste. Good vapor production, too, so let's take another hit. That's beautiful. I love it when the screen just goes in total vapor. Um, for those of you who are wondering, the Tesla. Tesla, sturdy device. I've had this Tesla for almost a year now. It has, it's made of a, uh, aircraft aluminum. It's a sturdy mod. It's great. It takes an 18650 unprotected battery. Uh, variable voltage, variable wattage. The voltage goes up to 6 volts. Wattage goes up to 15 watts. Um, for those of you who are new to voltage and wattage, how this works is, is pretty simple. What you go and do is, Look at it as driving a car. Voltage is a manual. It's a stick. You have to sit there and click it in one increment at a time till you find that perfect spot. And that's how what you dialed in on that atomizer or cartomizer or clearomizer or pro tank, whatever you're using. Wattage is automatic. You put it on there, you adjust your wattage, boom. Whatever you put on there should vape the same way it vapes on everything else. If that happens, you're rocking. If not, occasionally you got to bring it down some, take it up maybe one notch, down a notch to get your flavors in. A lot of people prefer voltage over wattage. Me, I'm kind of indifferent. I play with both. I've been lately leaning towards more wattage style because I know what I like to vape on. I know where my wattage is. I'm a high wattage, high voltage vapor. I'm a cloud chaser. I want to see those plumes of cloud flying out as I'm vaping. So, with that, the Tesla, great piece, aircraft aluminum, sturdy piece. You can see right in here, I have a nick that I put in there from dropping it too many times. Uh, the bottom of it says Tesla, which is pretty cool. Once again, I do apologize for the backwards camera. I'm recording this off of my cell phone because my webcam sucks. But anyway, though, um, OLED screen, you can go through, you can make it say your voltage, for your battery, voltage for your what you're vaping on. Um, you can set it up for your battery life. You can set it up. You can turn it off. You can turn it on. Um, you can set it up so you know how many ohms you're vaping at at any given time. It's a very good advanced starter mod. Actually, it's not even good for a starter mod. It's just an awesome mod. I love it. Drawback to it is the 
Adjustable pin in the center is great. I love that fact. The problem is it has a habit of leaking into the battery chamber. This was a problem that they figured out and they, iVape decided they were changing that. Uh, they now have a solid pin in there. And the main reason why is because it messes up the fire button. The fire button is pretty clicky. It's nice. Problem is mine doesn't always like the fire because my fire button's messing up. I plan on getting a new one. They come in black, uh, black chrome, and chrome. Um, I want the black chrome. They're always sold out. Sooner or later, I'll get one. Um, Vaporwise, once again, on this with this tank, I love the tank. The tank is a great price. It's a good setup. Um, it is a bottom feeder, and once again. Great vapor production. Flavor is unbelievable. There you have it, guys. My first review. I'm thinking about turning this into Ecto Vapor Reviews because I kind of like the name. Makes me remind me of Slimer. I see him sitting there with an awesome mod, rocking it out. There you go, guys. Magneto with the RSST, Boba's Bounty at 1 ohm. And then we have the Rocket, the K-Fung Clone on the Tesla, vaping at 12 watts with a 1 Point eight ohm uh, wrap job. It's an awesome vape. Guys, stay cool. Keep vaping. Stay away from the analogs, man. Just keep going and stay vaping, my friends. Take care.